So, what is it about Australia that New Zealanders find so attractive on top of what I've mentioned and what can be done to keep Kiwis here. New Zealand Institute of Economic Research senior economist is Ting Huang and she joins me now. Ting, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for your time. I mentioned a few reasons why Kiwis would be heading to Australia, including that the general feeling is being able to get ahead faster. But isn't Australia's inflationary currently the highest it's been all year? And the country also has a rising cost of living. So what does it have? Um, so yeah, so you are absolutely right, and um, that um, Australia has been perceived as, um, say, offering higher pay, um, higher income, and, high, uh, and better prospects. But while and um, actually Australia is also grappling with a slowing in the economic growth and um, high cost of living, uh, given that its central bank and um, had increased interest rates in order to reduce inflation, just like what we have been experiencing here in New Zealand. Mm. Um, but also here in New Zealand, uh, we are in currently in this environment of um, high interest rates and high to uncertainty. So uh, with high interest rates continue to dampen demand across the economy, we are seeing a significant slowing in economic growth and also a slack labour market. Well, inflation is still above the Reserve Bank's 1% to 3% inflation target band. So this means that uh, it will still... Um, we're not. We're still not expecting interest rates to be lowered anytime soon. Mm. And also, um, uh, as indicated in our uh, recent publication in the IR publications, that many New Zealanders are feeling downbeat given this um, environment. Um, like just given the uncertainty over um, when uh, economic and uh, employment prospects in New Zealand uh, will recover. Yeah, and also added to this uncertainty is um, is the uncertainty over the continued cutbacks in the public sector, which has also impacted on a range of other industries. Uh, Ting, though, is it? I mean, you know, we've got our issues here. Australia has their issues there, but also, isn't it a lot easier? There's an easier pathway now to gaining citizenship, isn't there, yes. to Australia, which again is another incentive or enticement. Yeah. Yeah, you are right. And also given that, I mean, um, like it is much easier and less costly to move across the Tasman mm. than moving to other Western countries in terms of logistics costs. What What do we yeah. have to do, Tang? I mean, I know that we're, the new government is trying to, you know, they're fighting uh, inflation and yes, there's a lot of jobs that are going, but what, is there something mm. the government can do now to mitigate losing New Zealand citizens or is this just going to continue? Uh, yeah, sure. So um, as I mentioned, a lot of it um, comes around to uh, providing the certainty. So uh, if, uh, so, um, as announcing budget 2024 that the government is providing um, tax relief to support New Zealanders. So mm. that does give some um, uncertainty over around like um, prospects over income, but um, w we expect the effect to that could be pretty marginal given just how high the cost pressures are um, at, at, um, at currently in New Zealand. Um, yeah. And also we have seen um, a significant increase in, in the um, pay for nurses and teachers given the settled collective agreed payments and also the government has indicated that it is going to invest in um, to support um, frontline policing, which also includes includes um, boosting pay for police officers. Uh, but one area that we consider that needing significant um, improvement um, is lifting New Zealand's productivity. 